Hi, this is Daniel Rosal. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I shared a video earlier today about the former border that ran through Jerusalem between 1948 and 1967, dividing the city between Israel on the west and Jordanian held territory on the east. Most of the photographs which I shared in that video were taken from the website of the Israel State Archive, which is called in Hebrew Archeon HaMedina. For those who are similarly interested in history, I thought I would make a short video about this extremely useful resource. The State Archive website can be found at archives.gov.il. At the time I'm recording this video, the website contains more than 42 million scanned pages of historical documents. It's available in both English and Hebrew versions. On the website's homepage, you can find links to a number of online exhibitions. For instance, here's one they currently have about Herbert Samuel and the British Mandate for Palestine. Samuel served as the first British High Commissioner for Palestine, the UK's most high-ranking official in the country, and held that office for five years, from 1920 to 1925. For those interested in accessing historical photographs, documents and videos, you can enter your search keywords on the homepage of the website. For instance, I can search for Gvul Yerushalayim, the Jerusalem border, in order to find images about the old border. You can use the buttons at the top of the page to filter your results based on whether they are files, documents, images, or video. By searching for images, for instance, I can call up this photograph of Israeli police inspecting a coil of barbed wire at the former side of the border. I can see an image description, which translates to police next to the fence on the border in Beit Safafa, Jerusalem, 1953. The old Israel-Jordan border that ran through Jerusalem bisected the southern neighborhood of Beit Safafa. A two meter high fence ran through the village with Jordanian legionnaires and the Israeli army patrolling either side. And if I have information to contribute about this resource to the archive, I can click on the tell us button. Searching for videos, I can call up embedded YouTube videos showing various historical footage clips. The archive operates a YouTube channel entitled Channel Sound Clips of the Israel State Archives. The terms of use, which is also available in English, provides a general set of terms and conditions about the general license to use the documents hosted on the website. It states that the permit applies to still photos, videos, audio samples and other documents. Users are permitted to use any resource for any use, including commercial use. However, users are forbidden from using the resources, quote, in any manner that is prejudicial to the honor or reputation of the State of Israel the Israel State Archive, or the creator of the work. The full terms and conditions of the general permit are spelled out in the document. There's also an email address those wishing to use archive material can write to if they need to receive formal written permission for a particular usage request. The Israel State Archive website is a useful resource for those interested in learning more about the history of the State of Israel and creating content about historical periods.